Hello, everybody. My name is Nathan Seeker. And welcome to Let's Play The Wolf Among Us Season 1. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the game with me. Achievement unlocked. Belly full of stones. Oh, shit. I really thought I was going to stop Tweedledee and Tweedledum, but that turned out real badly. Oh, man. I wonder if I had made different dialogue choices, or if I had... If I had fought a different way, if I could have changed that outcome. Oh, man. I mean, Grendel was... Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I ripped off Grendel's arm. If I let him keep his arm, would he have been able to fight better? Ah, oh, shit. That's got me second-guessing everything I've done now. But that's what makes these types of games so good. Excuse me. I got four viewers in the stream. Hello? Episode 3, The Crooked Mile. Fabletown business office. Wait, who's this guy? The woodland building. Well as I could to take out the PM. buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Big B, Doctor Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't have time to take Don't it go easy. Don't looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. He'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar. Oh, good. Juniper and Springwater. Oh, good. They're alive. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. Mm. And, uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. Alright then. Very good. <laughs> Is chicken actually good for your blood Business pressure? Office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? Wow, I really want chicken now. <laughs> Oh, if I sound a little different, it's because I'm actually... I think I've got a cold. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. <sighs> so, Unless it doesn't I work. I guess that's the plan, currently. But... I, I don't know. Just wait That's for the, the plan. Just wait for the mirror. It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if. I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just. It's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He it's, was a conniver. A, it's really hard a to coward. Say. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Maybe it's somebody using Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. 
Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Okay. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. I don't have a response to that. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Maybe Crane took it? Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left have something that, that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. I'll try talking to Buffkin. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Really? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Else. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Uh... I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Right, he, uh, he broke it with the... I suppose it doesn't matter what he broke it with, but... Try talking to Snow. Buffkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. What's in Crane's desk? Is there anything useful there? Oh yeah, let's check the drawer. It's locked. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? King it's of... a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hung Come over. On, I'm sorry. Oh, dude. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. 
What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. Mirror can't be no, fixed. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your... ...did locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you Define care? help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Oh, I'm who gonna... elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spin my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially Snow can handle years. it. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better hmm. option That's to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. We can always do both. Oh, he wasn't quick enough. I don't really care what you two do. Shit, I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out, never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. Yeah, He's I don't up trust to something. him. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. I don't trust him to be anywhere Where are you by himself. Go, oh shit. Oh, it's gonna give me one of these one of these choices again. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. 
I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I have three choices? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, how much time do I have to make this choice? Oh my god, okay, so... There's Crane's apartment. I don't think he's there. I think... I don't think Crane... I don't think Crane is stupid enough to do that. D might be stupid enough to go there, but... Holy... Um... I'm gonna try Holly's bar. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, me too. Me too. This is. Oh my God. This. This mission has three po uh, three huge incomes. Uh, three huge uh, outcomes, rather, not incomes. Good game. That was fun. And I hope you had as much fun watching. If you liked what you saw, then comment, subscribe, like, and of course share this video on your favorite social network. If you'd like to catch me on Twitch, I occasionally play, you can find me in the description down below. That is it for today's episode. I will see you in the next game. Suck it, so